All right, I hit the accelerator just so we would actually make it through that light. And no. And there it is, it's back. Changing lanes out of passing lane. So excited about that. Just watching as the semi is getting kind of close to us. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is number 16. This is gonna actually be two in a row. The last one was with the Model X trying Autopilot 1.0. Sorry if I sound a little off, I'm just a tiny bit sick. So as you'll be able to see here in just a second, uh, we are on Hardware 3. So this is gonna be the first Tesla challenge of Hardware 3. So we're doing my drive to work, which I've done on Hardware 2.5 a couple of times, and it'll be a perfect comparison to see how this compares uh, hardware 3 compares to hardware 2.5 so you can see the graphics there the traffic lights so really exciting really fun so we're going to hop on the highway i'm going to turn on autopilot and one of the big things we can celebrate is getting out of the passing lane has been fixed you do not have to hear me complain about that anymore and uh, that means i can let the challenge go i'm going to let the car do everything today the past few challenges I've been intervening um, and that was because I knew the car wouldn't get out of the passing lane. I didn't want to be in people's ways. Um, and that's not really in the spirit of the Tesla challenge. Uh, we want the car to do it all on the highway. So we're gonna get on the highway here. I'm gonna hope, all right, this should be perfect. So I'm gonna try to let the car do this left turn. If it can complete that, which it has done on hardware 2.5, um, then I am done. The car's gonna do it all from there on out and try to get me all the way to work. Um, you can see here the traffic lights pretty cool it can see that there are four in front of us red red green oh sorry it's kind of confusing to control um, two red and two green and it has that correctly um, and I think it also does show when this turns to an arrow I haven't been able to figure that out yet but uh, we'll see at the end of this challenge I will give autopilot a grade A through F uh, there will be a little I icon in the top right of the video you can also give it your grade here are the results from the last Tesla challenge from I'll show you the Model X and uh, from Tesla Challenge 15. 15, the car did really, really well, 45 miles. Uh, I didn't have to take over at all. All right, so here we go. And a quick shout out to Clarence, my newest patron. Thank you so much, Clarence. All right, I hit the accelerator just so we would actually make it through that light. And no, that did not work. So no good there, um, but that is not an advertised feature, so no big deal. So once I turn on autopilot here, uh, I'm going to set my speed, so we'll go to 78, that's our normal uh, highway autopilot speed, and following distance will be 2. Uh, personally, I normally leave it at 1, um, but for the challenges when I can't intervene, 2 is a little safer. So we're getting over here, onto the highway, and really good entrance out of the highway. The car does tend to wait until kind of the last second, but uh, no big deal there. So we're off. Let's see how the car does. All right, our first lane change into the faster lane. Uh, all good. We actually had this guy started to accelerate as he got in that lane, um, but the car got over fast enough that that didn't matter. And there it is. It's back. Changing lanes out of passing lane. So excited about that. Now that took a little longer than I had hoped, but I think that uh, this car right in front of us, the speed was uh, not really fast enough for the car, uh, the Tesla to change. See now it already wants to go back um, because these guys are slower. And luckily uh, that guy kind of let us do that, but he probably thinks we're uh, confused here. <laughs> and there it is, changing out of passing lane instantly. Uh, I'm just so excited to see that. I've seen that message several times uh, I've only been, I've only had the car for about 24 hours now, and in the driving I've done, um, I've seen that message so many times. So I'm also on the same software version as I was on before when I had hardware 2.5. So this is not software. The only difference in my car is that I have hardware 3. So this is kind of proof that hardware 3 has that bug, or sorry, hardware 2.5 has that bug, and hardware 3 fixed it. All right, this would be a time I would expect we would move over. Yep, there it is. Um, so we turn on the turn signal right as this guy is passing us, but not that big of a deal. And hopefully the car quickly, yep, 
instantly. Right when he's passed us, the car makes the lane change, which is really, really good. Um, and now we get to go a little faster. And instantly, so that's just so exciting to me. The second we pass that semi, it's like the car saw in front of that semi before it passed it. Oh, there's a big, you know, blank spot up there. When we get past this guy, we gotta get over. Because the second we passed him, the car was like, all right, I'm getting out of the passing lane. And it's just, it's so, it's so nice. It makes driving a lot less stressful, um, at least doing the challenges. You know, when I drive normally, I just hit the turn signal myself. Okay, so changing into the faster lane, I didn't have my hand on the wheel for that one, so it uh, wouldn't do it. That's why you saw the blue come up. But the second I put my hand on the wheel, it knew I was there, and so it completed the maneuver. Um, I do keep my hand on the wheel pretty much the entire drive. You know, sometimes, of course, I take a break or something. Um, but uh, when you keep your hand down in the bottom left like this, I actually have a video about that, uh, you don't need to do anything. So I haven't done any of these lane changes. I haven't turned the turn signal on. I haven't done anything. The car has done everything so far. This is the part where I really don't appreciate <laughs> that ability because um, if you're not familiar with my videos, that left lane with the green arrow right there, even though it's a solid yellow line, when the green arrow is there, that's a lane you're allowed to use. And they open it mostly just during rush hour. Um, okay, and we're gonna move back over. That's, oh wow, it's seeing that semi way up there because it's moving into faster lane. I'm surprised by that. But um, so anyway, because of this solid yellow line, uh, my car thinks that that's not a lane. And so it will keep moving out of the middle lane, which is where I, I personally would like to sit. I'd like to stay in the middle lane. And you can see, picks them up really well. I've noticed that the barrel detection, especially, uh, can see them from really far away. I mean, they'll be like off in the ditch and the car still picks them up. Okay, so we got a changing lane to follow route here, which um, is totally unnecessary. And the exact same as hardware 2.5, which, you know, kind of makes sense that the map data isn't linked to the hardware. Um, but it would be nice if those would get fixed. I mean, that's been wrong <laughs> since like I got the car like a year ago. Um, I did have, um, sorry, I'm just making sure the car is doing an okay job here around this bend. I did have, yeah, I have this navigation update available um, again, just watching because the semi is getting kind of close to us, but uh, that was fine. Um, and I was on Wi Fi all night last night at home, so I don't know, I might need to contact Tesla. Uh, okay, so changing out of the passing lane, which is an interesting choice um, since this lane isn't all that much faster. So we do have okay, so there's something crazy coming up here. Oh, we're gonna get to see a lot of barrels. Changing into faster lane, there's a car coming up on our right, and my car does a great job waiting for them, and then cancels the lane change. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. So they just put those barrels down there, and <laughs> I was hoping it would see the barrels on the truck, but it didn't. So uh, the changing to the right lane is, is the right move right now, because that is where our exit is. But um, I don't know, it seems like the car is kind of frozen in its decision making. It's not sure what to do. And we are just about to hit our exit, and uh, it looks like we've made it all the way, 25 miles on the highway. I did absolutely nothing but keep my hand on the wheel and pay attention for safety just in case. So really impressive stuff here. Um, I have had this happen on hardware 2.5, but not lately because of the passing lane bug. And so I'm really happy to see that's been fixed. And now with the latest and greatest from Tesla, my car uh, can drive me to work and I don't have to do anything. Um, so I am going to have, this guy wants to get over. And wow, uh, okay, I think that was just a coincidence. That was still really impressive that uh, there was enough of a gap for them to get over. But you could see here the car wasn't tracked until they were in the lane, so, and they changed their mind anyway. But um, 
it was good they were able to get over. But so here's our exit. Bam, the car did everything perfectly. Um, I will have some more Hardware 3 videos coming up. I also have, um, I had that Loner X. I'm gonna compare that to the Model 3 because um, I know a lot of people look at kind of older used S and X versus a new 3. And I think that's a great comparison. So my grade for this one, I mean, definitely got to give it an S. Uh, S. I was asked to include S if the car did perfectly. And uh, in my opinion, that was perfect. I didn't have to do one single thing. Uh, my only concern was if there were any big potholes, but luckily all the ones on that road have just been fixed, so I didn't have to worry about that. Um, so I gave it an S rating, uh, which is, I don't know what it stands for. Let me know if you know, but I know like in video games and stuff, it's better than an A, it's like perfect. So I look forward to your rating. Remember, hit the I in the top right and give your rating. That's always fun to see what you guys think because you don't usually agree with me. Um, but that's it for this one. Perfect auto wiper to end the video with this, this tiny little bit of snow. Um, and let me know any Hardware 3 questions you have. Actually, I already filmed that video, but if there's something I didn't cover, I can go back out and film some more. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, and you will see me in the next video.